everybody, it's me, OMG, and today I've got a brand new series coming onto my channel, as you'll be able to tell. This is Football Manager 2016, Mr. Journeyman Challenge, Episode 1. And um, yeah, I'm just going to explain a little bit of what's brought this on and um, where we're going to go forward from here. So, earlier this morning I put out a poll, so people who are in the FM Society on Facebook, if you're not, go ahead and go join. Um... I put a poll on there this morning uh, with a couple of multiple options to do a save for YouTube and uh, this is the one that won. Uh, there was a few different options from um, A Road to Glory, that's just obviously from the Vanarama Conference all the way to the Champions League. Uh, a one team save, a homegrown challenge with Tottenham. Um, some people also added their own in like financial troubles with Bolton trying to help them out or a sleeping awaking giant with Leeds United. Um, but this is the one that won it, had 40 odd votes, and this is the one I'm going to do. So, um, first of all, I am going to be taking over North Ferriby United. Uh, they're a club quite close to me, about 10 minutes down the uh, A63. Um, I used to actually play for them as well, and um, I do often go and watch them play when they're at home. Um, so, yeah, that's the team I'm going to be starting off. They're in the Vanarama National League North. Um, last couple of seasons, they've been here on promotion, very unlucky. And um, they've had two successive promotions when they was uh, in the lower leagues before the conference leagues. Uh, they almost got promoted last season and the season before that, I believe. And uh, also, they won the FA Trophy, as you might have been uh, seeing people who may have watched that on BT Sport. Uh, they won the FA Trophy as well, so this year we could probably try and retain that. Um, the aim of this series as well, it won't be just to stay with North Ferriby for as you know long as possible. It's going to be one of those. I've started off with pretty low badges. I haven't gone for absolutely like nil by mouth, nothing. I've gone for um, like a con uh, ooh, National B, I think, license and a Sunday League footballer. So I have given myself a tiny bit of um, like reputation and badge to build on. And then hopefully at my time in North Ferriby, I can build up my badges. Hopefully a team's coming with... Um, you know, bigger teams coming for me, then I may think about leaving North Ferriby and uh, joining them. So this is going to be a long-term series. It's probably going to last until um, the next Football Manager instalment, but also um, it's going to be the only series for the foreseeable future on my channel at the moment. I'm just finding my feet back on YouTube. I've just got some new gear, new computer, new equipment and stuff like that. Um, so this is where I'm slowly going to start to build up more consistency. I'm looking to hopefully start getting um, this series out, an episode every single day. So hopefully it'll be a daily thing. Um, roughly, I won't upload late. It'll probably be like 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock episodes. Uh, the same with today's episode probably as well. So um, what I'm going to do is now we're going to cut straight into the... Um, football manager game and uh, we're going to be at the first game against Stanley Bridge Celtic and I will go over all my tactics and uh, transfers and pre-season with you guys so I'll see you there. Boom and we're here finally okay so it's the 8th of August match preview North Ferriby United versus Stanley Bridge Celtic but first we're going to go over everything that you have missed between the beginning of starting and coming up to uh, this game so as you can see there right in front of you the competition expectation uh, I can't even speak competition expectations review uh, we are expected to achieve a mid-table finish uh, fourth qualifying round of the English FA Cup would be realistic and to only reach the first round of the FA Trophy for some reason North Ferriby are very overlooked on this game for um, some reason you know I don't I really don't know why the last two seasons of been very close to promotion to the National League, um, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Come on, sorry, out SI. I also am I'm playing on the uh, winter update just to uh, clarify that as well, just in case you see any players and stuff that uh, you might not have known were already there. But anyway, um, I have not got rid of anybody as of yet, but I have brought in a fair few signings, a total of um, five, all coming in on frees and loans. So the first one is Shea Allen. He is um, a left winger. We've just bought him simply in... Um, basically, he's going to be a backup, but we also might use him a lot because the the way things go, we have um, two really good uh, right wingers and um, we don't really have a left winger. Now, I'm playing one of the, the best right winger on the left, but he doesn't play there very well. So I've got this Shea Allen as like a backup sort of kind of thing there. So that's Shea Allen. Um, 
Next up on the uh, transfers was Jaffe Mata from Rochdale. We've got this guy on loan. Very good player. Five-star potential. Target man. Uh, he should hopefully serve pretty well for us up front. I've already got um, a few decent up front players. And um, I think in total in the window I've brought in two. This guy and somebody else. Um, but he's pretty good. Very good stats especially for this league. And hopefully he can do well for us. Next player is Jacob Evans coming in alone from Chester. Another five star potential guy. Two and a half, uh, two and a half star potential. Um, sorry, current ability. His uh, physicals are pretty good. Um, his first touch is good. His passing is good. Leadership's good as well as his aggression. Um, well, saying that actually, I don't think the aggression is really much of a good thing. But he should hopefully serve as well in the central midfield very well. Probably going to be um, a first team player. The next player we signed was Max Cartwright from Fleetwood on loan. This guy, as you can see, good free kicks, good marking, um, some decent mental stats there as well, and some okay physicals. He did play for Fleetwood, and hopefully he will fit nicely in the first team in the uh, in the middle of the defence. And finally, it was Nicky Platt. This guy, um, 27 years old. I'm not quite sure why his potential ability and current ability is only two star because his stats don't really reflect that. He looks like a really good player. Some very, very good stats, and um, hopefully he can be a rock um, in the uh, central midfield and the defensive midfield role, because we do have a tactic with the defensive mid. And speaking of tactics, let's go ahead and look at the tactics that we've got. So, this is our first tactic, a traditional 4-4-2. Don't really want to play anything too complicated to start with. Uh, I just want to find my feet in terms of tactics and players. Then we can start, of uh, you know, sort of looking at... Um, more complicated and um, expressive formations once we like gain promotion get some better players the second formation here is um very similar to the 442 just having one defensive mid and one central midfielder instead so it is a 4132 uh with a defensive midfielder so hopefully this is going to be our sort of more direct kind of tactic and uh, this is going to be our short Tiki Taka type of tactic. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and perfectly tell them to go and impress. Not really done anything. Oh well. Um, push that down. And let's try this game. Let's see how it goes. Cool. Got the scores up there, but I don't really think I need that. Why are the pl what? <laughs> what the fuck? Why are the players playing like this? What the? They're just gliding. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, there you go. Another normal. Good clearance. Anything going to happen, or is this just the opening stem where nothing happens? I really hope they. Oh no, he's put it over the bar. Quite an empty stadium, aren't they? You aren't the seats there. They seem to be all over us in the first couple minutes. Topless now, with a throw. Oh, that was an absolute piss poor pass. Oh, oh. Here we go again, they're on the attack, Johnson whipped it in, I know they've got nobody in the box, that's alright for us I suppose. Oh, there was no need to clear it like that, we could have worked it with, you know, out with the bag, but now we've lost the ball and they're coming in at us again. Farrell, Johnson, saved by Nicklin there. That's something that we're going to have to watch. Um, watch very, very closely over the course of the season. Oh, Chippendale, what a save. Oh, I thought, he, I thought he saved it. Clearly, evidently not that it was. Uh, it went over the bar, apparently. They're really all over us at the minute. I'm going to try and uh, step up and go attacking. Try and put a bit of pressure on them. Because they seem to be all over us at the minute. And they've scored. Bloody hell. Matty Hughes. He has scored for uh, Stallybridge Celtics. Fucking arsehole. Oh, could there be a chance straight from the kickoff, though? You never know, Kendall. Matter, and we've lost it again. Uh, if we carry on playing like this, we're going to get relegated. Pretty simple as that. Chippendale with the ball in. Chalmers, well, that was dreadful as well. I don't even see any North Ferryby fans out there today. Shit support. Fuck's sake, man. I don't know why I'm doing weird accents, but we got the ball anyway. Uh, come on, maybe a chance. Oh, good ball over the top. Kendall sees the keeper off the line. Whips it in. Matter. He manages to turn it in somehow. Jaffet Matter manages to score the goal on his debut for North Ferriby United. I don't even know how that worked. Let's watch this replay again. Kendall puts the ball in the box. Jaffet Matter 
he sort of blasts it and it just comes off the foot of their defender and deflects in. Very lucky goal. Right before half time. I'll take that. I'll take that any day. Any day of the week. Hopefully he can hang on till half time now, actually. Is, is that our player's injury? Oh no, it's theirs. That's good. Half time, 1 1. Hmm. Got some tired legs out there. Let's tell them to. Uh, right, happy with the performance so far. Yeah, keep it up. Start the second half. Let's go. Serve again, boys. Maybe. Save again as that last couple minutes of the half. God. Jeez. Out. Oh, God. Maybe a chance here, though. Fry gets out wide. Toffless on the corner of the box. Emerson whips it in. Kendall, it's a, it's a good attempt. It's a good attempt, but not good enough. And McMillan has saved it. 50 odd minutes in now. Uh oh. Is it going to be a chance for them now? They have. They've played Tim through. Tim shoots. Hits the side net in there. Very fortunate for us. They're starting to get back into the game again. We seem like we dominated like the first 10 15 minutes for the second half. We've got a corner though. Ball comes out. Kendall. What's he going to do with it? Boulder. Fry. Mata. Great save by McMillan. I thought Jaffet Mata was going to score again. But uh, it wasn't to be. We're going to make a substitution. Hmm. Who to bring on? Curtis Pearson. Because Mat uh, Mata is pretty tired. Jacob Evans for Boulder. We'll leave it like that for now. Confirm and carry on. Just a few fresh legs. Curtis Pearson. I'm interested to see how he does this season. For sure. Uh-oh, Chippendale gets a cross in. Oh, well saved by Mifflin. Is it going to be a counter-attack from us from this goal kick? Cat seems to make his mind up, but the ball's up front. They've got it back now. Is it going to be an attack for them? It looks that way. Chalmers, Thames, Farrell now. Oh, we've won it back. Here we go, maybe. Bateson gives it to Kendall. Kendall, back to Fry. Oh, he can play it through. Bateson. Back to Fry again. Out on the wing. Here we go. Now we're in business. Brooksby. Oh, my God. What? What? I can't even speak. I'm fucking shocked for words. What a goal. We're in Brooksby. How about that? What a finish. Cuts inside. Ronaldo-esque. And just plops it straight in that far corner. What a finish. From 1-0 down. Not very be two goals up. Nope. That doesn't make sense. Shit. Not very big 2 1 is what I'm supposed to say. But uh yeah, 74 minutes. We need to consolidate now. We can't really afford to lose this. Three points would be great. We've got some really tired legs though. Uh Danny Hone's knackered. Hmm. But so is Daniel Emerton. I'll bring on Palmer for Hone and we'll risk Emerton. Because if all else fails, we can replace Emerton um as well. So Oh, we could get another goal here. Though. Evans in the box. Fry. It's 3-1. Who would have thought? Such a poor start to the game. And this second half has all been, you know, all been about us. And we have absolutely made ourselves known. It's a really good cross. Catches a keeper off the line. And Fry fares to the ball. Gets to it. Keeper way off his line. No man's land. And uh, I'm very happy with that. Three goals to one. There it is. Full time. Stallybridge Celtic. One. Not very be three. Very happy with that. I will take that all day long. If it will let me, I will fucking give my team talk. Um, I'm very happy with the result. Everyone else is pleased with that. We're probably definitely, almost maybe, definitely, perhaps, probably going to be knackered for our next game. Um, yeah, we're playing on Tuesday. We are definitely fucked. That's the worst thing about playing non-league football. The amount of games that you have to play and... You have poor facilities and you can never gain enough fitness. That is the worst thing about being in non-league. But that's why it's a struggle. Um, as you can see there, superior finishing provides cutting edge for North Ferriby. Hmm. Palmer makes North Ferriby debut. Fry on form. He got a 9.0 rating. And the Vanarama North kicks off. The uh, key match was Stockport versus Bradford Park Avenue. Uh, Stockport winning that one. 3-2. So where does that leave us in the table at the end of this episode? That leaves us in third after one game. And um, the one thing I didn't go over, which I forgot actually, was to go over the um, the friendlies. So in our friendlies, we played Brighouse, 1-1-0, drew to our rivals, Frickley 0-0. Uh, 
beat Matlock 5-3 and lost to Hull City 5-1. Um, and now we have added a first win of the season to our tally, beating Stalybridge Celtic 3-1. So, uh, when shall we return? Well, I think I'm going to play Stockport, Headingsford, Alfreton and Gloucester. And then we'll come back and we'll live come against Bradford PA and um, against Nuneaton as well. We'll do two games um, as it happens because why not? I'm feeling generous. So anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed this episode and, um, you know, it's very different for me because I've never really done face cam. So I'm not really sure what to do while I'm doing face cam. And it's been a long time since I've actually played and recorded Football Manager and stuff like that. So, you know, first effort. If you can tell me how to improve in the comments, that'd be greatly appreciated. Any signings, any other sort of tips as well within the game, and uh, anything that you'd like to see in future episodes, stuff like that. One thing I've always debated, and I want to ask you guys now in the comments, is whether to have some music in the background, uh, real quiet, just to sort of like have a mood setting. Uh, for this episode, I'm not going to put any music in it, but if you feel like it's a bit you know just a bit too boring it and you'd like to hear a tiny bit of music in the background to sort of set the tone of the video then uh, let me know that in the comments as well because that'll be greatly appreciated because that is the one thing that i am always to and fro from whether to do so anyway i'm just rambling on now so if you've enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a like the next episode will be out tomorrow probably about seven o'clock i'm going to try and get these out on a daily basis for you guys and uh all that's left to say now is Peace.